Time now for Thimble Talk, brought to you by Thimble City. At Thimble City, we sell thimbles. Starring Tony Bolero and Sidney Pratt, with special musical guest Rory Bristol, and our live studio audience. Now, let's talk thimbles! First of all, we want to announce that we have a winner. Absolutely, and what's behind that wall? All right, ooh, Rory. You know, I'm gonna tell you, Rory looks almost Cindy like he's about to hurt. I've never, ever called anyone a knucklehead. And for someone to to claim that, Cindy, it makes me want to take these gloves that I have here, which are very nice gloves indeed, if you notice, and just you know, reach it around someone's throat and strangle the very existence and life out of them. All right, let's go right back to our own Rory Bristol for another number. I did it my way. Yes, there was some. Final curtain. I've lived a life that's full, and I've done it all and without exception. My lips time once again to play What's Behind That Wall. What's behind that wall, y'all? What's behind that wall? This could be your lucky day. We're gonna give it all away, but you can't... Tony has our very first clue for our new prize, and Tony, go ahead and give him that clue. I got a good one this week, Sydney. All right. She ain't wearing no thimble. <laughs> she ain't wearing no thimble. <laughs> That's right. All right. Also coming up in our next episode, we got a very special treat, Tony. I think you're going to love it. I, I don't know. You may be familiar with this person. It's a, it's a special, renowned thimble chef. This person does thimble muffins, and they're going to be here live. It's not her. Huh? It's not her, is it? Yes. You're kidding me. It's her. You brought her in? I did. I'm going to tell you, folks, ladies and gentlemen that are watching at home and here in the studio audience, you're, you're going to be blown away by the, the craftsmanship and the artwork and the magnitudes of, of what this woman can do. Thimble muffins. Thimble muffins. Amazing. Uh, she's got some of the best popcorn thimble muffins that you've ever eaten. <laughs> Live here on the show. And I meant apricorn. What? Apricorn. Apricorn. Mm -hmm. Live here next week on our next show. 
She's going to be here, a special guest. Looking forward Looking to that. Looking forward to that, yes, indeed. Mm. All right, Rory is, uh, listen, we may need to call medical help. You know those puffer fish? Yeah. That they blow up? Yeah. I mean, that's the way Rory looks right now. I'm not sure if his jaws are locked in that position or, or he's got something wrong with him over there. Sydney. You might need to go over and kick him, make sure he's still alive. I've seen those puffer fish, but everyone I've seen are dead. And, and Well, that's, you know... <laughs> Check on him. I mean, you know, uh, it's going to be hard for me to get somebody to sing as cheap as he does. I mean, he's as good as he is. Right. Sven Boric from Switzerland also writes in and says, and this is this is going to be very, very, uh, you're going to find this disturbing, I think. He writes in that his government, Sweden, or Switzerland, uh, uh, will soon require the registration of all thimbles in their country. Now you've seen this before. I think in 1945 it started uh, in Germany. And uh, well, what's his question, Sidney? Well, can he stop it? First, How can he? What can they do to stop this this government registration? Of Sven, Sven, if that's your real name, you got to get up pretty early in the morning to pull one over on old Tony here. You're worried about them coming and registering your thing. Well, what are you trying to do? Hide your bazooka? <laughs> Maybe your RPG, you know, your landmines, whatever you got in your house in Sweden or Sweden or wherever you're from, Sweden. Don't worry about them registering your thimbles. You ought to be proud that somebody would register your thimbles and know exactly what you possess in the world of thimbledom. I don't understand. The Swiss are very proud of their thimbles. I don't understand. We don't, go on. We don't even know if he's from Switzerland. <laughs> Well, all they want to do is hide money in a bank over there illegally. Everybody knows about these fields and the chocolates, which usually are not anywhere as good as what they claim to be. Let's run back and see how Rory's doing with that blow-up right there. Oh, oh, coming along nicely. <laughs> He's coming along just fine with that. We have a new sponsor this week. Really? If you'll see Hunt's Manwich Original Sloppy Joe Sauce. And we're glad to bring the Hunt brothers in. You know, they're from Kansas City. I think you knew Lamar, Otis, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Joe Hunt. Helen. Yeah, Helen Hunt. Yeah, well, she's not a brother. <laughs> oh, interesting. Hey, listen, can we talk about the th the thimbles? Uh, yeah. Now, this, where's this one from? This is from Japan. Okay, uh, you okay, know, good. This is, uh, uh, your Japs are noted thimble uh, users over in Japan. and uh, Right. They sold a lot of things up. Uh, they sold them thongs at them big sumo wrestlers. <laughs> Where have you seen them all? Uh, when they get out there, ladies and gentlemen, uh, they get them big thongs on, kind of look like diapers. I've never understood that sport anyway. They get in there, they bounce their bellies around. The thimble, the thimble. Yeah, well, that's what they use it for, to sew your thongs up. I mean, if you'll notice, when they get together, they'll grab the thong. It's what they do, and they rip it and stuff like that. So they have to have the thimble to come back in and sew their thong back in, Sydney. It's what you, uh, you Japs do on that. And, I don't know. Probably that one probably came from Pearl Harbor or something. You know what? how they are. <laughs> Can't trust them. You, you meant your Japanese thimble is what you were saying. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then our last one here, I mean, I, these are all friends of mine now. Just like that one, that, I got that one from Sadi Hario over in uh, Tokyo. You went to Tokyo? Uh, he sent it to me by mail. And this one came from Ching Chang over in... Uh, That's a person's name? Yeah, he was in Saigon, China. And this one was from uh, uh, Moja Slavovich. Somewhere in Russia. This is a uh, Polish symbol. Uh huh. And uh, well, the, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you start on that, right. now, now, it's a Polish symbol. Right. Come from Poland. And we're going to talk about what the thimble's use is for, as far as sewing. Is that right? Well, we would, but mo you know, you Polish people, they got no idea. I mean, they got no idea where to start, where to end, where it comes from, where it's headed. You know how you Polacks are. Uh -oh. And. Uh, I mean, nothing against them. Yeah. I've got a lot of friends as Polacks. <laughs> and, you know, how many Polacks does it take to use a thimble? I don't know, 12, 15, something like that, to get together, discuss, and see what the use is. But it's a nice one. It comes from Warsaw over there when old uh, Lech Walker was uh, the president. Lech Lewinstola? Lech Walker was over there. Anyway, he sent me that. And I uh, hope that gives everybody a little idea of what we do. Well, well uh, uh, I, let's check on Rory Bristol one more Rory's time. Rory's blowing that uh, big baby up right there. And That's about all the time we've got oh. for another episode of Thimble Talk. What makes a thimble special? You do. Don't hold a broken head for a thimble on your list at Thimble City. We sell thimbles at Thimble City. We sell thimbles. Thimble City.